G'day, I'm Ash, hope you're all doing fantastically well. This is the A6M6C, essentially it's the Battle Pass free reward vehicle, which you can get for unlocking 50 levels of the strange Battle Pass system that is in War Thunder. Now, it's a rank 3 battle rating 4.7, and it's got two 12mm guns and three 13.7mm uh, machine guns. See, it's got an 8mm plate and a 55 behind the pilot, and there's bulletproof glass and a 45 bulletproof glass on the front, and this machine is incredibly heavy. However, it does get a new engine, the Nakajima Sake, uh, which is a radial engine with air-cooled power. It does get self-sealing fuel tanks and a bunch of other neat features, so it is kind of well protected, but this is a very, very heavy machine. Yesterday I tweeted out that uh, this is possibly one of the worst aircraft that I have flown since the MiG-23, and it's heavy, and it shows. You really can't do much in it. You can't climb in it. It doesn't turn as well as what it should be. But for a vehicle that probably should have been in the tech tree, I think this is acceptable, at least as a battle pass vehicle in its whole entirety. After all, it is free. And it has been a couple of years since we've seen a event vehicle for Japan per se. I know in the game files there are existing Chinese A6M5 and an A6M3, Although we haven't seen anything for, I guess, Japan for a little while. And that's interesting to say. Now, there is something missing. If you see just there, from the dev blog, uh, there was a fuel tank. They don't have a fuel tank there. Anyway, it does have your regular set of things. It is a premium aircraft, so there's a little bonus and there's the things. Repair cost is only 890 silver. I have a feeling that will be changed. And as you see, I've only played six matches in this thing. It's terrible. It gets a regular assortment, except for air targets. Uh, so you got your ground or whatever, but you do get access to two rockets or your traditional 10 rockets if you really want. Uh, and then there is a, a bomb and there is a two smaller bombs as well. So that's nice to see if you want to use this in a limited CAS uh, sort of orientation. Other than that, this is a heavy ass zero. There's nothing else to it. Um, <laughs> and let's, I suppose, go out and some gameplay, shall we? It's all the same. Change. I think that's the lyrics anyway. Can't remember off the top of my head. Right, in this clip, I'm going to show you direct. Oh, goodbye, Zero. Uh, what I'm going to showcase to you is what happens when you get surrounded by aircraft that are just generally better than you. 109's coming in directly above me there. I've got a Yak and two other Fock Wolves. I'm just keeping it, paying attention. And again, someone's behind me. I have no idea who. Try and avoid that Yak 3P. And there is another fuck wolf. G6 as well. And as you can see here, roll rate isn't exactly perfect. I'm trying to pop the flaps. Uh, but now I'm critically damaged. At this point in time, all I can do is roll and just dive. Because I'm trying to avoid all of their guns. It's just like an absolute seagull fest right here. Avoid this one. Avoid that one. I don't have an option. I can't turn very well because my elevator's been ripped off. And generally, the aircraft doesn't hold a lot of energy. Uh, and it's just, it's not a zero. It's a zero with extra armor. Essentially, this is the heaviest, fattest thing I've flown in terms of zeros. However, you can put out fires. You know, we've now run out of altitude. The issue is here, although we avoided that fog, we now have limited altitude. And even if I go and, and throw a couple of hits towards that fog wolf he should have died there i've now basically utterly screwed up lost all my altitude lost all my energy i can't necessarily help the team out and i can't turn effectively either and that's really all you have in this machine and watch as another aircraft comes in specifically this fog wolf on the left here and we just have no other option but to just die essentially Unfortunately, they've got all the maneuverability, they've got all the energy. There wasn't much I could do in that scenario, even when I pop flaps, because the flaps rip at such a low speed, you really can't do anything. It's a heavy zero. And that's the point I want to show you in this particular clip here. Now, I'm not exactly familiar with zeros as a air platform. They're kind of a bit heavier than, or in some cases, lighter than what I expect, because you know, the A6M2, really light, really maneuverable. A6M3 is slightly better. I've got the A6M5 Co, and that thing's utterly fantastic, but compared to this thing, it's exactly the same as its 4.7 brother, the, the, uh, the Kai. Right, you can do stuff like this, 
and uh, managed to get a fire on the 109G who decided to go up above me. That was his fault right there. And now we've got to find a, new, a couple of other targets. Anyhow, I, as much as I like Zeros, the development for this particular aircraft is very odd. It's a brand new engine that's been shoved inside an airframe. As you can see, there's a Spitfire directly behind me, and I have my sights set on that Spitfire. He's a higher altitude, and I, I must mention, this thing does get water on emergency power. However, it does overheat like an absolute motherfucker. Um, and, oh no, that poor Spitfire. He has essentially... You know, I hate to do it to him. I hate to do it to him, but that is the second kill of the match. Unfortunately, he's flat spinning. It doesn't necessarily matter because now we've got a J26 inbound, which is the Swedish P51, which is a fantastic aircraft. And again, just popping the, uh, the flaps around there, trying to get a shot off, watching the Spitfire sort of just dangle his way down to the ground there. Hopefully the pilot got out. And again, this aircraft is just good for spraying and praying in a general direction. And well, now he's on fire. He doesn't stand a chance. I may as well just let him go. Give him a rat a tat with the old machine guns and just pretend like we know how to aim. And uh, there we go. There is our third aircraft kill. I have no trouble getting kills in this aircraft. However, I do have trouble climbing to altitude and generally side climbing in this machine net to negative results compared to other aircraft of its types. Kai 84 is probably better than this machine, and is better than this machine. There are heaps of other Japanese aircraft that are certainly a lot better than the free Battle Pass vehicle. Now, I can't necessarily recommend this vehicle. It does have wartime emergency power, and it surprisingly puts out fires when you get set on fire. Unfortunately, it is possibly the worst aircraft that I have flown in a very, very long time. I don't like this aircraft. It is a piece of shit. It's, it's just heavy, slow. It's got all the good things about a Zero, but with the extra weight of the new engine, the new armament, obviously the self-sealing fuel tanks, and so on and so forth. This isn't a Zero. This is a heavy fighter, essentially. You're fighting something that feels like a Focke Wolf that isn't a Focke Wolf, that doesn't have the same protection or armament as a Focke Wolf. And unfortunately for that, that gladiator here, absolutely rip him a new one i don't know what he was doing up at rank four but i guess some things have to come to an end la7's coming in and you don't really want to go head on with them. it's bf110 and a p63 and i'm conscious of those guys because i don't really want to uh, go near the 110 110s are quite scary and as you see i've put myself in a bad position here it's not really much you can do besides from just try and avoid them and while you can avoid some shots Fighting multiple opponents at once is possibly the worst thing you can do in this machine. Anyway, we come on this six on this LA-7 here. Gotta wait to close the distance though, because it is a significant amount faster, and with a couple of shots, a small burst, that is our fifth kill in the match. I have no issues getting kills in this machine, but I still think of this aircraft as worse, if not worse, than the MiG-23, and I hate, I just hate it. I hate playing this thing. This will probably end up in a top 10 list at the end of the year, but I just, I cannot utterly stand this machine at all. It's just, just got all the wrong things in the wrong places. And I could have easily got uh, a shot off of that P63, but watch, potato aim. And really, well, that's just unfortunate. He does end up by killing me in the end. I, uh, I just, we, we managed to win this match. But at 4.7, this thing sees, you know, almost 5-0 and so on and so forth. And really, there's no real point uh, to showing any more of this vehicle than I have to. I've got no ammunition. I can't fight this P-63. As you see, I'm trying to pull out the way. I don't know what happened there. But uh, that's it. All right. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, don't recommend getting this unless you're a collector. That's it. Bye-bye.